We're trying to create living human heart tissues in the laboratory. What's in this lab dish could revolutionize medical research. It's beating human heart tissue created from stem cells in a lab. I think this kind of research and lots of other you know, stem cell related research really has uh, important potential to redefine how we treat uh, uh, disease uh, in the future. The heart tissue is made of stem cells that are turned into cardiac muscle cells. They attach to a collagen material similar to what's found in our skin and organs. That gives the tissue its structure. So what we try to do is guide that process, guide that self-assembly to create a tissue that has the uh, structure and uh, organization that is representative of the, of the tissues that we're interested in, so in this case, heart, heart muscle. A similar process has been used to create ears, noses, and blood vessels out of stem cells in a London lab. I liken it a little bit to kind of making jello at home. Someday, they hope to grow replacement parts for damaged human hearts. A whole direction in the cardiac tissue engineering field is to develop a surgical replacement, uh, whether it's a whole heart or a patch, some kind of a construct that could be used to replace damaged heart muscle. That's still a long way off, but in the near future, the heart tissue grown through this experimental technique could be used to test new drugs for heart conditions and to study how other drugs like cancer treatments affect the heart. So what we're trying to, to do in, in, in my lab is develop new approaches that can help to make that process more efficient. Scientists say testing drugs on heart tissue in a lab would be much quicker and safer than testing on animals or human patients and could lead to advances in life-saving medicine. Nick Dietz, CBS News.